first position in order to back kick you must first be horizontal remember we want to move through the water not up and down a slight incline of your body will either send you up or it will send you down so the thing to remember when scuba diving is to complete action slowly you're a sloth moving quickly creates problems as everything is delayed your body needs time to react you can only do this if you slow down once in position bend your knees bringing your feet towards your butt Place the bottom of each foot together so the bottom length of each fin sits closer together. This creates less resistance when pushing back to straighten your legs. Once your legs are straightened, your feet turn outwards so each fin sits flat in the water. You want to keep them flat so you effectively use the meaty outside part of your fins to push the water past you. Bring the size of your fins towards the front of your body so this, in effect, allows you to be pushed backwards. So you can see here, my legs start to float up because I'm one of them people that have really floaty feet. My feet tend to want to go to the surface. Um, but you might find that you've got sinky feet. So you might find that your legs keep dipping down. Um, to compensate, you really have to use the upper part of your body to adjust your position. Each point during this exercise, when you move your fins, you must stop. So each time you stop, adjust, then push. Stop, adjust, push. Stop, adjust, push. In slowing down and performing each movement of your body effectively, you're going to be able to complete exercises a lot easier. Like this. By all means, I'm not an expert at this fin kick. I'm just giving you some tips that helped me to develop this as a technique when I'm scuba diving. All I'd say is just keep practicing. Practice, 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 practice. So guys, in the end, you just need to become one with your fins. Once you are one with your fins, you will be able to do any type of fin technique. And the only way to become one with your fins is to practice. So always practice. When you go scuba diving, be aware of your equipment and how your body moves in the water. Give yourself patience and really feel what your body's doing under the water.